How do you put Mac Miller in the thumbnail, but don't put Mac in the video? Do a part two with Mac. No Mac Miller is crazy. All right, I get it, bro. I'm a dumbass. Sometimes I don't pay attention. Y'all should know by now that I'm a slow motherfucker. So I'm gonna do y'all right with a part two on what your favorite white rapper says about you. And I made sure to include most of y'all suggestions from last video. So let's go. Now let's start with the artist y'all were complaining about me not including, Mac Miller. This dude probably my favorite white rapper, and he also probably just one of my favorite rappers in general. Don't ask me why I forgot to include him. Uh -oh. I thought I did, but uh, if you listen to Mac Miller and he's your favorite white rapper, all I gotta say is, you know your music, and you got some great taste for rap. And if you into that older Mac Miller, you probably a frat boy too, but uh, anyways, this dude was just on a whole nother level when it came to his artistic purpose, and those who saw him grind to the top and get better and better each release know just how important and unique this dude really was. Face has probably gotta be one of my favorite mixtapes from a rapper ever. And on God, we ain't leaving out a staple album released before his death, Circles. That shit is just a roller coaster of emotions, same with swimming. But all these projects and the legacy Mac brought to hip hop is proof that this is a valid pick if this your favorite rapper. And honestly, at this point, we should just say that he's one of the greatest white rappers of That's all time. Why he's the goat! The goat! And y'all can fight me on that one, because I ain't gonna change my mind. Anyways, now that I got that out of the way, let's move on to the sad boys. Yeah, specifically Young Lean and Blade E. Or Blade, I don't know. If you listen to these two and these are your favorite rappers, not gonna lie, I gotta ask you if you're doing good, bruh. Cause these the type of rappers that get you in your feels. I'm guessing you like the press or some shit, or you just enjoy a good sad song. But one thing's for sure, Sad Boys is just purely iconic, and on God people don't give credit to Lean and his influence on rap in general. Even at first we just saw a dude Loki shitting on an immaculate beat. Shit's still hard though, I don't give a fuck. The progression and development from these two, Loki kinda crazy though. Sad Boys was just something you couldn't replicate, and I ain't clowning you if these are favorite rappers, because I low-key respect what these two have done for the industry. Aight, moving on, we got Central C. I don't got much to say, except your ass, British, Hello. instantly makes your opinion invalid, bruh. But, uh, nah, for real. I never heard someone outside the UK say this they favorite rapper, and seriously, I don't see how this dude could be. But, uh, he aight. Aight, next up we got the Suicide Boys. I know this is a rap group, but I feel like it should be mentioned. Now, if this is your favorite rap group, then on God, I know your ass is broke, because those concert tickets just to see these dudes are low-key absurd. I remember my homie years ago telling me he was going to see these dudes for like 50 bucks. That ain't the same today, let me tell you that. Let me tell you, these dudes have one dedicated fan base, and if these are your favorite rappers, I know your ass dick rides immensely. And not gonna lie, you probably look like this. And some of you probably also try to be little edgelords too, but hey, you do you. I've been getting into a bit of Suicide Boys more lately, and let me tell you, they pretty solid. But shit, you not catching me paying those tickets. Alright, next up for some reason by popular demand, y'all wanted me to do Yeet. Now let me tell you, Yeet fans gotta be one of the most cringe fan bases in rap, bruh. And this is coming from someone who doesn't mind Yeet at all. In fact, I really like this new album. And y'all fake ass Yeet fans were dogging on it when it came out just cause it doesn't fit your TikTok attention span. But hey, I'm going off track. If this your favorite rapper, you white as fuck, live in the suburbs, and are 12 years old. You also probably a TikTok demon too. But hey, this not all of y'all, but don't tell me I'm not someone right, bruh. Keep worshipping y'all's perk popping, cereal eating alien motherfucker. Do whatever you want, dog. but we moving on. Alright, let's talk about Ian. Now, I ain't never heard someone say Ian they favorite rapper, but if this your favorite rapper, you do not listen to a lot of rap, and you stuck in that TikTok area of music. You ever seen one of Ian's concerts? You'll notice a pattern that there are barely any other skin colors besides white ass 12 year olds, and hey, I'm not an Ian hater. His music isn't even bad though, but he kind of biting some rapper styles. But hey, if you an Ian fan, you probably also a Yachty fan too, because this dude been endorsing the hell out of Ian, not gonna lie. Alright, next up is probably someone y'all ain't really familiar with, but I know some of y'all be fucking with Quedeca. For real though, Quedeca turned to be one of my favorite rappers, even if his shit isn't as rap orientated as much anymore. If you listen to Quedeca, all I gotta say is you appreciate that side of upcoming experimental and alternative artists, and you low-key early because I see this dude really making it to the top. If this your favorite rapper, you probably have been following him since the voice memos days. Maybe you didn't understand his genre change at first, but it probably Whoa, grew on you hella. What? That was low-key me, not gonna lie, and honestly the change was for the better. Quadeca goaded, I'm low-key happy for bro because I've been following him since he started off on YouTube. But yeah, moving on to the last and final rapper, I got MGK. Yeah, fuck you. This is what your ass look like. I'm not saying nothing more. Anyways, that's the vid. When y'all force me to make vids, I provide. So I'm gonna need a sub from you. 
but uh, that's it. See ya.